Hey Stone Advice fans, welcome back to episode three of Alpha Cam Snacks. This class is gonna cover how to recover your toolbar in the event of a glitch from an update or something else causes you to lose your toolbar or your keyboard shortcuts. So when you log in and you're not seeing what you recognize and some of your stuff's missing, you'll notice there's all these different icons. Well, with Alpha Cam, you can actually, you could probably draw a submarine propeller, but that's not what we're doing. We're making little flat countertops with round corners. It's just not that hard. So what we've done is we've created custom toolbars and keyboard shortcuts that are engineered specifically for our workflow when we're making countertops. So anyway, let's get back down to business. We're gonna right click on any icon and we're gonna go down the menu. We're gonna go to customize ribbon, okay? So we wanna go ahead and change the toolbar. So we're gonna go to customize ribbon Come down here to the lower right-hand corner where it says Import Export. We're gonna click on that and we're gonna select Import Customization File. We're gonna browse there. It's gonna automatically take us to the Lycom directory to the Configurations folder. And inside here is an XML document. In this case, it's 2020 Toolbar with Cut Command. I'm gonna select that and click Open. First thing that's gonna happen is I'm gonna get two alarms. Just click OK, click OK, no big deal. And now your toolbar is back. When it's time to recover your keyboard shortcuts, it's the same procedure. You're gonna right click on any icon, go to Customize Ribbon, go over to the left. It's not the Quick Access Toolbar, it's not the Radio Menu, it's the Keyboard. You click on Keyboard, it'll go to the far right, you're gonna see the Import command. You're gonna select Import. It's gonna take you to the Lycom directory and to the Configurations folder where you're gonna see an XTB file. The XTB file is what is used to remember your keyboard shortcuts. You're gonna select that and select Open. And that's all there is to it, guys. The last step that you want to do is you want to draw a rectangle. So after I've drawn my rectangle, the last thing I do is I just go ahead and close and save the file. I call it ASDF, and it'll just overwrite the last file that I saved. And that's it. You're back in business. You've got your tool back, bars back, and you can go to work. In the next episode of Alpha Cam Snacks, I'm going to show you how to create your own customized ribbon, your own customized toolbar, your own customized quick access ribbon, and your own customized right click wheel function that I never use, but I'll show you how to modify that as well. Be safe out there fabricating guys, and we'll see you in the next episode.